former two-time UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic spoke about UFC making interim heavyweight title fight between Cyril Gunn and Derek Lewis. He said, I was really surprised to see that that happened really fast. Even though I was not interested in returning at that point, it would have been really good if they would have asked me. And he's right because he's two-time former heavyweight champion. He has fought almost everybody and done incredibly well. He showed how great he is when he fought Daniel Cormier three times consecutively and won the last two fights after losing his belt in the first. But it isn't the first time that UFC has left Stipe Miocic surprised and in wilderness. It seems like in the last few years, whenever UFC President Dana White makes a big plan for UFC heavyweight division, the person who gets always overlooked is Stipe Miocic. If you remember when Stipe Miocic lost his belt to Daniel Cormier, Brock Lesnar walked into the octagon and they had an altercation during the post-fight interview and it was a great build-up. How could you not love it? But after he lost against Daniel Cormier, nobody spoke about Stipe Miocic for more than a year. Coming into Daniel Cormier fight, Stipe Miocic had defended his heavyweight title three times against Alistair Overeem, Junior Dos Santos and Francis Ngannou. DC gave him opportunity for the rematch after more than a year of waiting for a fight against Brock Lesnar. And no one can blame him for that because if that fight would have happened, it would have been really big and help him earn a great payday. And you never know if he would have won that fight, UFC would have made the match the third fight against John Jones. Since his last fight against Francis Ngannou, where he lost his belt, Dana White has spoken about him a couple of times when asked by journalists. But he has never spoken about the rematch. It seems like, as usual, he does not have any plans for that. Because Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gunn are fighting for the unification in January 2022. Winner of that fight will most likely face John Jones. But there is one other thing. Even though UFC has not given too much thought about giving Stipe Miocic what he deserves, an immediate rematch because he is one of the greatest fighters. But luck has always been with Stipe Miocic. Every time he is overlooked, something always happens. Like in the last instance, DC and Brock Lesnar fight did not materialize. In this instance, it looks like the relationship between Francis Ngannou and UFC are at all-time low. And there are reports that he has not resigned for the contract extension. And that's very likely because Francis Ngannou has said over and over again that he wanted to be a boxer. And since Jake Paul and Logan Paul has arrived and the way they are doing business as much money as they have earned. Francis has made his point several times that he is not getting what he is worth. So if Francis Ngannou wins the belt and he leaves UFC, then UFC would have to make a title fight. Then who will fight for the title? It will be any two of these three gentlemen, John Jones, Cyril Gunn and Stipe Miocic. But here is another caveat. John Jones has stated publicly that he is not returning till August of next year and it might be a little longer as well because of his current situation and he has to switch between his training and camp and most important because he has bulk bulked up his physique for heavyweight and it's not easy for body to get accustomed to 20 pounds of extra weight his whole life he has his body used to carrying more than 220 to 235 pounds now he is around 245 plus but he is a great athlete and he has all the tools and resources to make his plans work but in case if he does not return definitely the beneficiary once again will be Stipe Miocic and truly deserved as well so let's see how all of this is going to play out and thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel I'll keep updating more